81. The 81 from Schiller is an ECG that performs a 12-lead ECG analysis in a fast and precise manner. It's a small compact device with a simple mode of operation that makes it the perfect ECG for any type of setting. The 81 comes integrated with its battery, thermal printer, and a basic keyboard. In order to turn on the ECG, press the on button. When the ECG is connected, the mains light will be lit. If the ECG is running on battery power, the battery light turns on and starts blinking when the battery capacity begins to run low. The lead off light notifies us when one of the leads is off or improperly located. The paper light will turn on when there is a block in the printer or the paper is running low. The filter light turns on when the myogram filter is activated. To take a recording of an automatic ECG, press the green start key. The printout will be obtained in format 1. To make an automatic recording in format 2, press the alt key followed by an auto start key. If you wish to obtain an extra printout of the ECG recording in format 1, press the copy key. And to obtain an extra printout in the second format, press the Alt key followed by the Copy key. To take a manual recording of a real-time ECG, press the Manual Start Printout key. Because only three channels can be printed at a time, the lead group that is being printed can be changed by pressing the up or down arrows, and the LED lights will indicate which lead group is selected. The 1 millivolt key can be pressed at any time throughout the recording to mark an output and is used for baseline recentering. The QRS beep will enable or cancel the QRS beeper. The auto gain key is used for the automatic adjustment of the ECG in order to avoid overlapping traces. The middle keys are used for the selectors of the ECG sensitivity for auto and manual recording. The bottom keys are to select the chart speed. The filter key is used to activate or deactivate the myogram filter. Remember the state of the filter will be indicated with the filter LED light. Replacing the recording paper in the internal printer. The recording paper must be replaced as soon as the end of the paper is indicated by a red stripe on the lower edge. To do this, press the latch for the upper tray to release the lid with the rubber roller. Remove any remaining paper from the tray and place a new paper pack into the paper tray with the printed grid facing upwards. Close the lid and press firmly. Press the stop key to transport the paper to the starting position. If you have any questions, please send us an email.